In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transition between scenes using a fade animation. All right, so we'll create a new scene. We'll give it a canvas layer because it's going to sit above all the other elements. Transition screen. We'll give it a uh, color rect. It's going to be black. And we'll create our animation player. So the idea uh, for fading is we're just going to be animating the alpha for, for the fading animations. So let's go ahead and make fade to normal. So this is going to be from black to our normal scene. So we're going to record a keyframe there and one with zero alpha. So this is fading to normal. So let's create our fade to black. Fade to black is going to be the opposite. Fade to black. OK, cool. So we have our two animations. I'm going to go ahead and make a script. And we'll call this transition. And all we're going to do is we're going to start our fade to black. So whoever calls this is going to initiate the transitioning. So let's see what happens if we just do it ourselves first. OK. Um, so after we fade to black, we want to alert whoever is managing the scenes that it's OK to start changing scenes, because we can do that once we cover up the screen. So we'll, we'll create a signal. Signal would be a perfect way to, to alert scenes that are using this transition screen. So we'll call it transitioned. And we want to do that after we finish this animation. So we're going to listen. We're going to add a uh, signal for the, when an animation finishes or we're you know we're going to connect the signal so if animation name is so if we just finished fade to black then we want to emit our signal transitioned and we want to start trend start the next animation which is going to be fade to normal and i'm going to add some print statements just so we could follow along so fade faded fading to black here um, we're going to say emit signal transitioned. And um, I'll just listen for fade to normal here. So we could just add the print statement. Um, print finished fading. OK, so let's see what that looks like. Fade to black, fade to normal. And we emitted a signal in between. Cool, so let's not. Uh, call it in the transition screen. Let's head over to Scene Manager, which is a scene I set up, which is just a simple 2D node, um, a node that just manages what the current scene is. So this scene is going to swap out to our next scene, which is going to be scene one. So we have scene one, scene two, you know, just example scenes here. So let's, and here I have my transition screen. I'll just instance it again. There we go. Transition screen is there. And we will create a script. So what I'll do here is I will just create a listener, a trigger for when we want to start transitioning. So when when I hit UI accept, then we will start transitioning. OK. Um, yeah, so let's see what that looks like right now. So if I hit enter, then we start transitioning. But we didn't change scenes there. That is because we have to listen for that signal that tells us it's OK to transition scenes. So this is going to get emitted once we finished fading to black. So once we finish fading to black, we can swap scene one out for scene two. So let's get a reference to scene two, scene two. OK, and so when this finishes, we swap it out. So we'll say current scene, whatever the current scene's child is, whatever the current scene is, let's just get rid of it. And then I will just instance scene two. But it, you know, it would be whatever scene that you, you, you can set this up. This is just an example. So we'll do scene two instance. And I'll just add a print statement here that says, um, swapped in scene two. OK, so now when we run this, we have scene one. I'm going to press Enter, which is going to start the fading. 
and there we go, we get scene two. And you can see the events here, faded to black, we emitted a signal, we listened for that signal, we swapped in the scene, and then we finished fading.